So I travel all over the country, um, not just to talk about the different travel destinations, but personally, I love traveling for food. But if you are a visitor to Bhutan and you don't have a lot of time to go outside of Thimphu, this is the general traditional cuisine that you'll get to taste. And I'm here at their Malinka Resort and Spa at their special upper restaurant. And uh, Thimphu has a lot of places where you can try Bhutanese food. You have the more fine dining experiences and you have the cheaper places as well. But the best thing about the uh, upper restaurant, their Malinka and Spa, is not just the food they serve here, but it's the setting. You have the river and the mountain view next to you and just the way the entire interior space is designed is something that would really um, blow your mind away. So let me give you an introduction of the general Bhutanese cuisine experience that you get to taste here. La. So the first thing when comes to Bhutanese food it's definitely the rice and it's something that really grabs a lot of attention as well and this is the traditional red rice this is the local rice that you get to taste here and the thing about red rice in Bhutan is it has a slightly nuttier and grittier texture and it's definitely more filling and I mean that's how I feel when I every time I eat red rice and you have the hoge cucumber salad with uh, mixed with traditional local cheese and uh, this is I think something that that comes really close to salad um, especially for a typical traditional cuisine and it's something that really refreshes your palate now I'll move on to the more non-vegetarian meatier dishes as well so this is the sikampa and uh, of course the first time you see it it might be a little too overwhelming because of the amount of fat that pork has uh, especially the way we cook it and um, it's definitely something that's a little acquired it's sort of an acquired taste for a lot of people who try who try Bhutanese food for the first time but it's my favorite once you get the hang of it you can't go back and um, speaking of I'm really thinking I'm mouthful of water okay let's continue um, now going into dishes that are not uh, very common it's definitely jangbuli and kule and these are dishes from central bhutan and that's bumtang and uh, this is something now how would i describe jangbuli this is something that comes very close to a pasta dish it's made from flour and it's uh, basically noodles but uh, well there are some recipes that we have shared earlier on how jangbuli is cooked but the closest thing that I can um, describe this dish to is pasta and of course we have the buckwheat bread. Uh, some people also call it the buckwheat pancake with the way uh, it looks but this is traditional uh, central Bhutanese dish as well. And now moving on to something a little more western, we have jasokondo. This is definitely a specialty here at their Malinka Resort and Spa and this isn't something that you find in a lot of uh, traditional Bhutanese restaurants. It's a very special egg dish and the way it's prepared is also very interesting. Um, it's the, the egg yolk, the egg mixture is sort of sprinkled into hot oil and this is what comes out of it. And it's very popular in Punaka, especially in Nokkam. And uh, if we move a little further to the west, we have Lompa. And uh, this one is all vegetarian, but uh, what I love about this is this is dried turnip leaves. And turnip, as you know, is very popular in Western Bhutan, places where you don't really grow a lot of vegetables, that's where you find turnip. And of course, you have the more traditional imadasi, chili and cheese, and this is something that you have to try when you come to Bhutan. And then you have uh, jashamaru, that's basically chicken stew, and then we have jaju. And this is soup, spinach soup, cooked with a little bit of local milk. Now, here's something that I haven't tried in quite some time, and this is, uh, it looks like a meat dish, but it is jiri uh, namjo, and it is, a mush it is a kind of mushroom. What do you call it in English? I think it's called wood deer, wood deer mushroom. And uh, we have a lot of mushroom dishes. We have chanterelles, we have uh, matsutake, um, but bringing back something that's a lot closer to home, I think this is something that you'll find in a lot of, uh, uh, you know, local villages as well, but it's definitely seasonal. So this is chili uh, namcho. So yeah, so this is basically a general introduction to Bhutanese food, especially if you're coming to Bhutan for the first time and you want a more um, general introduction to traditional Bhutanese cuisine. But if you want to try something more specific, you can always travel beyond Thimphu.
When you're eating traditional Bhutanese food, you always have to eat with your hands. So you get a little bit of this. Make a rice ball right here and you dip it into any stew that you have with you with a little bit of soup. So I have the jashamaru. So I'm gonna dip the red rice in here and mm, it's so good. Follow it up with so good. So the next time you think about planning a trip to Bhutan and you want to try the cuisine, this is the traditional Bhutanese food you get to eat. So enjoy. I'm gonna eat this now.